Welcome to another episode of. All right, before we do all that, okay. Stuff, let me practice this. Gazelle. Perfect. Parsa. Perfect. But you want me to call you a gazelle? <laughs> right. Sure. G yeah, gazelle is my business name. Is gazelle. Well, you know, Parsa mm -hmm. means gazelle. No. Yes, he does. For which, what, which language? I researched it. You did. I did. Gazelle is like a deer. In Farsi. Animals that they. In Farsi, Parsa means gazelle. I did not know that. You really researched that. You sure about that? <laughs> I am a talk show host. I'm supposed to know these things. We're okay, document the journey I believe of you then. amazing entrepreneurs such as Gazelle. How are you? How are you doing? <laughs> Good. How are you? <laughs> you it, look. You're an incredible entrepreneur. I mean, you own this meds, but tell. But you tell us with your own words, what is exactly that you do? Uh, I opened my medical spa about three years ago, and that was my passion. I always wanted to own a business. I just never liked to be told what to do. So. <laughs> you, you kind of strike me as the person that you don't like to be told what to do. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> you strike me as that individual. So three years ago, you opened up your own business. What did you do before? So the same. I mean, I am an esthetician. I'm also a laser technician. I do permanent makeup. I do facials, chemical peels, laser treatments. And um, But for the last 10 years, I was doing all that, but working different places, but the whole time I knew I needed to learn to um, basically go work places before I start my own business. So I started three years ago and it's been very successful. I'm very happy. It's incredibly complete because anything and everything that one can, can wish for to transform their appearance, you offer. Yes, I do. I do. I definitely... Um, I mean, people come in with all kinds of skin problems and skin needs and... Men and, and women. Men and women, yeah. yes, yes. And I can look at their skin and I talk to them. I uh, customize all different treatments. So my goal is to just treat their skin. They're not there to just say, do facial and bye-bye. No, I don't do that. I make sure they get the result. I make sure they edu I educate them about their skin. This is what you need, or this is what you don't need. People come to me, they're just bored. They just want to spend money and waste their time, and I look at them, I'm like, your skin is gorgeous. You don't need to do anything. Just go and spend your money somewhere else. They, they're doing <laughs> it because their their friend, their neighbor, or somebody else is doing, their best Absolutely. friend says, oh, you, you need to do this. You need to. So they yes. want to kind of keep up with the Joneses exactly. and just be, be that way. Exactly. When they go to you, though, however, you say, your skin's beautiful, you don't need that. Exactly. I mean, my goal was to be just, you know, being honest and, because this is my passion, I love what I do. So if I were to go to you and you would say to me, You're gorgeous. You Thank know. you, you don't need anything. <laughs> you and I are gonna get along very, very, very well. So tell, tell me about this, this journey as an entrepreneur, right? Because mm -hmm. now, three years ago, uh, you're very good at what you do, you're excellent at what you do. Thank you. You have a just incredibly, talented um, skill mm -hmm. uh, of doing what you do. Uh, that, let's set that aside. But now, you become an entrepreneur. Yep, that's a that's big a, That's an entirely different yes. set of skills. Correct. If I start a business. How do, you, how do you train for that? Yeah, everybody was telling me, oh, you know, be careful, it's not easy, you're not gonna have any life, and. Do you have any life? I don't, no, I don't, actually. <laughs> <laughs> They were right about that. So they were right about that. <laughs> they were right about that. <laughs> Just trying to, you know, I'm a mother, I'm a wife, and trying to do everything. I used to teach piano for years and years, and I missed just even playing for myself. And I love to cook, and I haven't really, I mean, I, I am cooking actually right now. But <laughs> How do you to, find that balance? Really uh, tough. Really tough. Is it, it, it is harder for a woman business owner to find that balance than a man business owner, is it not? Absolutely, absolutely, is, is, yeah. And that's not a sexist comment, it's just the reality, isn't it? It's just harder, a lot it's harder, harder. Right? absolutely, because I feel I'm more responsible as a mother, as a wife, it's just a lot more responsibility, it just, and um, I think I was lucky enough to have the energy and common sense as a business owner, as my marketing, because I'm doing everything myself. I do all the treatment, I'm all day in the room, nine hours a day, doing treatment, I do my own marketing, I do my all my social, I do my payroll, I just do everything. Right, so that's what I'm saying. So in addition of doing what you have the skill to do, mm -hmm. then you still have to wear several other hats oh, absolutely. in order to make the business run. Absolutely, absolutely. So yeah, yeah, it's a big challenge, big challenge. Is there a point 
and I'm sure you've considered this, where you say, you know what, I, I have to hire somebody to help me with this. And have you reached that point? And if you have reached that point, is it hard for you to let go? Honestly, do yes. It's a little bit hard for me to let go. Um, because the way I look at my business is a different than other people look at my business. I love people. They're my friend. We cry together. We talk together. They come to me to just open up to me. So for me, this is just, you know, I'm here to help them. I'm here to make them feel good and we connect and we just, you know, make a beautiful relationship. But when I see other people coming, all they're thinking about to just make money, that like I'm like that this is not gonna work you know I, I always say to my employees love what you do money will come right. love people have passion what you do money will come but if you're just thinking about to make money this is not a it right a, business for you it is a simple concept because mm -hmm. uh, gaz perfect ah you see I'm, you're good you're I'm good learning. You're I'm, good. Learning. <laughs> I'm learning I'm learning see, that's my job I got it it is easy to say, mm -hmm. work and the money will come. It is easy to say that. But to buy into that concept mm -hmm. is what's hard. And most of us would say, gosh, I gotta, it's so tempting to forget that so quickly. Mm -hmm. Because you have bills to pay, because you have commitments, et cetera, et cetera. And as, as employees, my goodness, I, I, I'm gonna forget that notion yeah, right away. Yeah, I realize that, they <laughs> forget that. But uh, I mean, I did hire some wonderful people, but it just wasn't a right fit for me. And I think part of me, um, I had a hard time letting go of my client to other people. So I, I'm someone that I have to, I wanna do everything. I wanna be control of everything. And to the point, some, sometimes, yeah, I'm overwhelmed with everything I do. But recently I did hire a lady, which is wonderful. And I'm trying to help myself to let go of a lot of things in my own responsibility to take, you know. And, and believe me, uh, we've interviewed several entrepreneurs here at Entrepreneurs in Fuego, and that's one of the toughest things that it keeps recurring, recurring. It's mm -hmm. just a let go. Because nobody else is going to see your vision. Nobody mm -hmm. else is Absolutely. going to feel the same passion right. as you do. Right. And to try to have somebody drink the Kool-Aid just like mm -hmm. you have and, and, and make the world, yeah. uh, 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 your world, yeah. their world, it's, it's just going to be not very, gonna very difficult. It's not going to happen. Yeah. It's yeah. not going to happen. So as an entrepreneur, mm -hmm. uh, your biggest challenge is what? Is it marketing? Is it finance? Is it what? Hmm, biggest challenge was to find the right people hmm. and marketing. No, marketing, I, I'm very much on top of it. I'm very much... You are the marketing person. I'm a marketing person. I do weekly newsletter and I do a lot of events in my spa, in, invite a lot of people and ra do raffles and do social media. So I'm pretty much doing a lot of marketing and um, word of mouth would be great. I mean, it's so rewarding when I see people, I mean, all the way in North Scottsdale, but I see people from Gilbert or Mesa coming to me. I'm like, what are you doing here? I mean, you drove 45 you minutes. Oh, so-and-so <laughs> told me I went somewhere. For example, they did laser, they burned my skin, but they told me go to Gazelle, she's honest, she can help you. So that's just, it feels amazing to me. So to me, again, as much as business, of course, needs money to run and everything, but, being honest, being um, help people and love them, that's just to me is a different way of really, that's how I run my you business. You have a passion for what you do. Yeah. You do what you do because you love it and love the money it. just follows. That's it, that's it. I don't Simple. need to be rich, I just want to be happy. <laughs> I'm not bad to be rich about that. <laughs> But yeah, I, I just love what I do and I want to make people happy and you know, as long as I am doing well and again, that, that's, that's how it is. What's the best advice you ever received? Best advice? Advice that you ever received. Um, best advice I ever received. Um, I have my own advice. <laughs> <laughs> what is that? What is the best advice? Never if, give if up. Be positive. Okay. Be happy. Never give up in your dream. I came from a background with different culture, from different country, by myself. And in age 21, coming to U.S. without speaking any English, with $200 in my pocket. So I kind of learned to just don't give up. Don't nag, don't use the words what if, I can't, 
it's not going to happen. And just move forward and follow your dream and you will make it happen. That's my advice to everyone out there. You came to the U.S. when you were 21, which must Correct. have been about just six years like ago. like two years ago. <laughs> right here. Right here. <laughs> With that, I guess you're awesome. Thank you. Thank you so much. Very Thank much. With you. that, we're out.